In March of 1928, nine-year-old Walter Collins vanished while playing near his home in Los Angeles. At first, the police and Walter's mother, Christine Collins, thought it may have had something to do with the boy's father, who was locked up in Folsom Prison. No clues were found until five months later when a boy claiming to be Walter Collins was turned into the Illinois police. Christine Collins paid to have the boy flown in from Illinois, but when he arrived, Ms. Collins said that although he resembled Walter, the boy was not her son. The Los Angeles Police Department refused to believe the boy wasn't Walter, however, and pressured Ms. Collins into taking the boy home, suggesting she try the boy out. A few weeks later, Ms. Collins returned with dental records and other evidence that proved the boy from Illinois was not her son. LAPD Captain J.J. Jones criticized Christine Collins for her claim and had her committed to a psychiatric ward. While Ms. Collins was being held in the Los Angeles County General Hospital, the boy from Illinois confessed that he was actually 12-year-old Arthur Hutchins of Iowa. He was a runaway that hitchhiked around the country looking for work, and when he was questioned about his resemblance to the missing boy from Los Angeles, he eventually jumped on the opportunity as a chance to meet one of his favorite actors in Hollywood. Christine Collins later sued Captain Jones, who had committed her to the hospital for false imprisonment, and won. But he never paid the large sum of money that he owed her. With the failure to find the real Walter Collins becoming public knowledge, Captain Jones and the Los Angeles Police Department turned their attention to Gordon Stewart Northcott and his mother, who had recently been charged with beheading a young boy, one of nearly a dozen children they sexually assaulted and murdered. Ms. Collins refused to believe the theory, especially because her son's body was never found on the Northcott's chicken ranch in Wineville. In October 1930, Northcott sent Ms. Collins a telegram saying he had lied when he denied that Walter was among his victims. He promised to tell the truth if she came in person to hear, but upon her arrival, he balked, I don't want to see you. I don't know anything about it. I'm innocent. Five years after Northcott's execution, one of the other boys he was accused of killing was found alive and well. This bit of news gave Christine Collins hope, and she spent the rest of her life searching for her son.